This is a quick tutorial on how I draw faces. To first draw the head, start with a circle. If you're drawing on paper, always start drawing lightly then darken it when you've finished. Now make a plus shape on the circle to start as your guide for mapping the face. While making their jaw, the vertical line is where the two sides meet up. Now, you can make the neck thick, normal, or tiny cartoonish. Now, for the eyes, it depends on the shape to give off a certain vibe, like a parallelogram gives them a more serious vibe. A circle shaped eye gives off a nicer vibe. You can also make a peanut shaped eye, which is more in between the circle and the parallelogram vibe. Also, the sharper your eye is, the more dangerous they look. There are other shapes you can use for an eye, like an upside down triangle. But that's up to you to decide. You could also raise their eyeball to make them look ever more serious, but not too much. Okay so for the face I'm making, I'll use the parallelogram shaped eye. Now, if you want, you can thicken their eyelash, like this. You can also choose to erase the bottom right corner, to separate the bottom part of the eye. Now, add another, smaller eyelash on top of the big one. Now, redraw the first eye onto the other side on the face. Now, draw a crease over the eye. Just make a line over the eye. So for the eyebrows, you can choose to just put a single line, or make it thicker, or shorter. So, for the eyeball, you can literally make any shape, like a circle, oval, square, star, skull, fire, and way more. You could also make asymmetrical eyes, which are basically different eyes on each side. But for this, I will just use circular eyes. When drawing the eyeball, unless you want them to be surprised or frightened, put the top of the eyeball a bit under the eyelid. Okay, so for the eye details, start with another small circle in the eye. Then draw a half circle popping out the small circle from the top. Now color in the top part. Now make little spikes coming inwards. Then erase a tiny line on the side of the inner eyeball. This just shows more of the inner eyeball. Now, just repeat this on the other eye. You can also put light in their eyes by just erasing a little circle onto the side of the eye. For the hair, depending on how thick you want it to be, make a half circle around the head. Oh yay, let's quickly make the ears. Make this shape on the screen. Then make an S swerve. Then another small line, and a circle on the inner part of the ear. Now rinse and repeat on the other side. Alright now for the hair. So you would want to find the center point for the hair, which would be here. That is where the direction of where most of the hair will come from. So as you can see, my character will have spiky hair. You can start out by making the big spikes first, then add the smaller ones after. Long hair is pulled down by gravity but, 
I can't really go in depth just on hair for this video though. Now you can get rid of the guidelines if you want. And also remove the half circle when you've finished the top layer of hair. Now we start with the smaller spikes. Let's do the front hair now. Now we use our second point to see where the front hair will come from. We can now remove the circle guideline. For the nose, there are many different ways to draw a nose. I will provide a few examples. For mouths it's pretty simple, just make a line and curve it for different emotions. Then make a smaller line under it as a lip. Like this. After you've finished the mouth, make sure to fix any mistakes. As this will be your last chance to do so. Alright, so now you will want to retrace everything you've done so far. With more pressure. Now for the shadows, it adds depth to the drawing, but we will need a light source. So it will be coming from the top right. But before that, let's make the eye shadows. Lightly draw a curved line on the upper half of the eye. Then lightly fill it in. Repeat it on the other eye like always. Then for the nose shadow, you'll want to replicate the edge of the nose as the shape of the shadow. Now here you just like to add some more shadows, from the part of the nose, that isn't shown, and under the eyebrow. Then make a small shadow under the lip. And now you've gotta make a shadow, for every hair clump you made. Now, this is my finished product, 